come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, movie fans. Uh, we're an internet talk show book review <laughs> book club for movies. So only book people listen to us. That's right. Uh, every week, because it uh, happens every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest to conquer the world. These are the Internet Radio Superstars. Michaela. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean, what did we watch tonight? Tonight we watched 1988's Demon Warp. One word. <laughs> One word. One word. <laughs> I just want to put that out. Which I like already didn't believe you. Like we were searching for this on streaming and I was no, like, are you one. sure it's not two? One yeah. word. No <laughs> hyphen it. Nothing. Yep. Because you can't find this anywhere except YouTube, which is where we watch this. Yep. Right? So that's where you're going to find yeah. it. Um, From the year. Yeah. 1988. And directed by Emmett Alston. Oh, Emmett. Holy shit. He's been, uh, what he's been here he before. Is he going to be on the wall? <laughs> New Year's Evil. <laughs> oh, he directed shit. New okay, Year's I Evil. like New Year's Evil. <laughs> now, though. he's directing filmography, and he wrote some of these two as well. He started out in 1979 with Three Way Weekend, and that's the sex comedy okay. you probably think it is. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. I feel like this guy just, that's his first movie. I feel like he has his content to director. mine for us, huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, New Year's Evil. Okay, now we get into ninjas. Yeah. Oh, what? tell me yeah. more. We get into ninjas. N- oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was the ninja master. He was a ninja guy. Nine Deaths of the Ninja. Oh, shit, I heard okay, that I'd watch Wait, that. does that have uh, 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 Sho Kasugi in it? Sho Kasugi. Of course. Yeah. Yes, it does. Uh, 1987's Tiger Shark. Okay, that's that I want to watch. That, that sounds awesome. What is it? No, that's like an action movie. Ooh, is it like a it's hard a ro- ticket to Hawaii? Like, like sexy, yeah, sexy action be. movie? I think so, based Ooh. on this poster. Okay, There's explosions well. and helicopters in the background and uh, sexy people at front. So, what does yeah. okay, right, the IMDb right. say on that? Just uh, the, the, the <laughs> I'm just, I'm, Tiger Shark. Yeah. Tiger Shark. Uh, Operation Tiger Shark. Then it was okay. Demon Warp. Okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Then Force of the Ninja. Force All of right. the Ninja, okay. Across the Killing Bay, and then his last directorial effort, Little Ninjas, <laughs> in 1993. Yeah. Oh Little Ninjas? Wait, that's not the one I'm thinking. Three Ninjas. That's Three Ninjas. Is this yeah, is yeah. Little Ninjas, which looks far worse. Was the ripoff of, okay, uh, yeah. oh my that's God, oh my. there's a genie <gasps> on the cover. It looks like we would okay, be canceled yeah, if we watched that's that. Like, <laughs> that's, it's like they put Shazam and Little Ninjas together, or, yeah. or Kazam. It, Kazam. It, Kazam. Yeah. The, the <laughs> non-existent, um, yeah. whatchamacallit. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. No, no, no. It doesn't exist. It's yeah, the uh, Shaquille the, O'Neal one doesn't exist. No, no, no. The this is the no the name? the Sinbad, Sinbad one doesn't exist. Sinbad the Shaquille one. O'Neal oh, okay. does yeah, exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. the Sinbad, the Sinbad one. one. We wow, we fucked. We we <laughs> fucking we, we got there. Mandela we, affected ourselves on that one. We wow. really did. Uh, and he wrote a few of those movies that I have mentioned. Hunter's Blood is another one in there. But uh, yeah, okay. Last we're going to say that we just watched this movie and we're going to be damned if we can explain what the hell's going on. But yeah. that's what we're paid for. Yeah, indeed. That's what we do here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it may without the big game paid. Uh, but, twice as hard tonight as we had to watch this on YouTube. Yep. Yeah, yes. Off of a, a VHS copy. It was very yeah. fuzzy. Of the very movie. Very fuzzy. I feel like I'm still seeing you guys kind of hazy like a, yeah. like a, like a yeah, right? VHS so rip. Yeah. Yeah. The focus yep. back Our afterwards. flesh is melting with the <laughs> encode. Okay, yeah. so, uh, because we're doing the the hard work, the heavy lifting. Right, uh, we're going to tell you if you need to go to YouTube and watch this. Yeah, sacrifice your eyes for this. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I would have thought they would have had a cleaner version. Not much cleaner, I'm saying, because I don't think this is one you're going to Is it available back. on uh, but, uh, UHD 4K? No, uh, 4K? But it just no. needs an Alamo draft house to discover it, and then it's another fucking hard ticket to Hawaii or Ooh. another uh, Miami connection, you know, it's or Samurai Cop. It could have its own cult following if the mean, right people... Maybe put it out you know is this a cult movie i guess we're, that's what we're gonna we're gonna find out oh. um genre anybody got a genre explain the genre of this movie uh, big demon foot uh, a- <laughs> sci-fi horror question mark okay yeah. sci-fi right. horror leisure and yeah then i'm some, gonna put leisure in some there demoning in there so maybe there's some uh, demoning yeah. okay. slash zombie oh okay. yeah if we're getting into warp? like the entities it's like not really okay they wanted to warp they did not warp all right I think is where we ended up. There's a couple of genres. This is one of those movies that spans genres where it switches gears every couple of minutes right. because, well, you're right when you're about to get bored, actually, you get bored. With you get bored yeah, after you get bored, <laughs> then it goes like, hey, we're going to throw in a completely different genre to mix things up. So it's kind of like yeah. channel surfing on the late uh, horror show 
way back in in the day. Basically, or, and then if yeah. you yeah, if you had to edit by changing the channel, you yeah. have an hour and a half tape yes. that's recording, and you have to go channel to channel, and whatever you change it to <laughs> goes into the movie. Yeah. That's what this movie feels like. Okay. All right. So this, uh, correct me if I am wrong, but Emmett Ashton was not the original Alston. progenitor. Alston was not the original progenitor of this no, movie. No, originally, because this is a screenplay written by John Carl Beekler, who was set to direct this movie. For the folks at home who are not aware, who's John Carl Beekler? <laughs> John Carl Beekler was uh, an effects, I'll say master, because he did a whole bunch of shit. Um, I, mean, he, I mean, he's done Jason. He, he's done... A lot. And he directed part seven uh, of Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, 13th, which he left this movie to go do that movie. Okay, so there we go. There we yeah. go. Good for him. All right. So, yeah. That was, he got, a, he got a that was the move. That was the he got move. A better job. Yeah. They, they, they ruined it. The studio did, but he got a better job yeah. than having to do but this. But he yes. wrote this movie. So he, he wrote did. this So he movie. was involved earlier on and then left. Okay. So he was all set to direct, and then he was just like, I'm going to go do this. And it's got some so, name recognition. So he writes this movie. This movie comes after another movie we watched on here called Cellar Dweller. Comes after that. That was an Empire picture or a full moon, I believe, right? I believe so. Yeah, because like he did. Uh, Beekler did a bunch of stuff for Charles Band. I think. Uh, oh, you same know. year. Same year. Wow. As Cellar wow. Dweller. Okay. Uh, which is why it's the, same the monster costume, may right? look. <laughs> yeah. It's the same costume. It has to be. It's the yeah, same oh, yeah, year. The same yeah. costume, just a little dressed a yeah. little differently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so he designed it's a, it's, the creature in this movie. Yes. What's the creature in this movie? It is a Bigfoot. There you Ish. go. It's All a right. Bigfoot. So this is a Bigfoot movie. It's a Bigfoot. Like, Which, when, wow, not a lot to choose from, but they're, somehow they're all not good. You yeah. know? Like, I I, I, have, I challenge the listeners to find me a good Bigfoot movie. Don't tell me Willow Creek. I've seen it. It's not good. And yeah, it's not, not even really Did a Bigfoot movie. Did you see the Bigfoot the movie? No. No. Okay, I didn't think so it's so. not a Bigfoot movie. Yeah. I saw it, but yeah. I don't remember. Is there a Bigfoot nope. movie? The one I it's haven't found, seen. No, it's a found footage one, but is abominable. But I I've have not seen, seen that one either. Pictures from it, and it has a distended jaw, which yeah. I just intrinsically don't like. Right. So I'm like, uh, yeah. there's Harry and the Hendersons. Is Rick Baker? That is one. the best one, probably. Yeah. probably. Yeah. But it's not a scary Bigfoot. No. You know, no. It's, no. A, it's got the kind of. Yeah. And we watch Night Claws. Yes. Night Claws. Night Beast. No, Night, Night Claws. Claws. No, Night Claws. No, Night Claws. Yeah. You're, right, you're right. Night Claws was the yeah. Reverend Frank Brown. Stallone, yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And yeah. Red Frank Brown. Stallone's in that movie for 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, but Red Brown Frank is Stallone. in that movie, yeah. too. We can't forget. Andre the Giant in oh. The Six Million Dollar Man. Played Bigfoot? Yeah. Was that really? the big showdown? Yes. Was that the big broadcast showdown? It was yes, Andre it was, the Giant? It was a two episode what? Six Million Dollar Man episode. Yeah, he fought Andre's, Bigfoot. It was a big thing. I know. Well, now I gotta go watch this. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know it was Andre the Giant. Oh, yeah, makes it yeah. Giant as Bigfoot. Oh, hell yeah. But I don't know if he's the best one, but I mean, remember. It might be as a low Who bar. Like, yeah, low he's bar. got like white eyes and, you yeah. know. There's more to it than that. Someday, so someday when I'm okay with reliving the, the trauma, I will bring Willow Creek so we can dissect it because that <laughs> yeah. movie is directed by Bobcat Goldthwait. Indeed. What about is, he, used to, um, he used to direct some movies, didn't he? Yeah, but this is a there. found footage horror movie. It's a very yeah. weird choice for him to direct. Yeah. Yeah, after um, yeah. Shakes the Clown, right? Shakes yeah. the Clown, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the, the Legend of Boggy Creek is a Bigfoot movie. True. But yeah, I don't think barely. you ever actually see the yeah. Bigfoot. It's you more see like, him. He's, that's he's more like a, a giant, nature documentary. But it's very, yeah. yeah, but it's he's all he's always very in the background. And yeah, very, which yeah. is where he should be. But because Bigfoot. Yeah. Okay. All right. But who Gotta knew? Look, going into a movie called Demon Warp that it was going to be a Bigfoot movie, not me. I don't I know. I hadn't know. seen this before. I hadn't seen it either. None okay. of us had. I had this on my list because I looked it up because I saw it was a Bigfoot movie, but right. I had never seen it. So I knew a Bigfoot was a part of it. Right. I and think we've spoken of it once before. Yeah. Somebody said something, but yeah. Okay. So uh, Beekler writes a movie. Yep. Okay. And then uh, I believe production company is like, what else can you use this creature for? That you Write used a movie. in yeah. Cellar Dweller. Right. Yes. We're assuming then Cellar Dweller was produced first. and I think so. Because that seems like the bigger one. The, it's the bigger budget one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's I, the, comparatively, it's maybe. <laughs> okay. Of the time, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It, no, it's like it's like you know how Disney was working on Lion King and, and um uh Pocahontas at the same time, mm. and all their all their quote unquote good artists wanted to be on Pocahontas because they thought that was going to be the prestige movie that won Oscars, uh -huh. and then Lion King was like the like project redheaded stepchild nobody wanted to work Damn. on, and ended up being like because it was an original idea. Yeah, I think it, that was the big gamble. Yes. Right. On Lion King. Yeah, and, and then it, it became yeah. like this huge like thing for right. way more profitable than Pocahontas ever was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Some earworms in yeah. there. Um, that's cellar dwell that cellar dweller to demon warp, right? Yeah. Basically, yes. So correct me if I am wrong. In some of the little looking around on the internets that I found about this, um, 
the original Beak like Beakler was set to direct, mm. and he had cast Jack Palance. Yes, that is movie. right. Jack Palance had been cast in this, or it was, is at least attached to it. So this was that was the the other reason why I felt this like this was very um, um without warning ish. The other uh, Jack Palance. The other Jack like, Palance yeah. yeah, yeah, Pre Predator. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Well, but sh- no, yeah, he was supposed to be in it too. Yeah, yeah. You said this was a combination of three previous movies we had watched when we were watching this? Oh, yeah. This felt like very much like uh, Without Warning, Berserker, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and Night Claws. Yes. You yeah. put them all like in that. a blender. Yeah, blend yeah. that up. So yeah. if you've been following and, this show, and shoot it on VHS. Put, put it in a blender. Put shoot, it in the stone shoot cold the, blender. Shoot the blender with a VHS tape of it blending yeah. for an hour and a yeah. half. Yeah. And that's this movie. Yeah. This is probably shot on film back in the day. Yeah. We're just watching a really shitty version right. of it. Yeah. But um, the, I guess, you know, and I really appreciate you listeners at home who have <laughs> gone ahead and watched the Like <laughs> when we got the movie, some of you actually yeah. watch it. Right. So uh, here we go. Sorry. Here we go. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate so, it. So when Beekler left, right? And yeah. Jack Palance, we've done several of his movies mm. that he did in this period. He's of a time. local legend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, that was the guy who was in, you know, uh, 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 Shane, you know, mm-hmm. and a bunch yep. of prestige stuff. And then his career kind of went down in tubes. And As he was the in Alone in the Dark. Yeah. And we did without Ugh, warning, yikes. and you know those kind of things. Yeah. So he leaves, and then he goes on and and fucking wins an Oscar, right for yeah. for City Slickers. So yep. career revival. But he's gone out of the movie at this point. So who, like of that level, right? Who do who do we replace him with? Another Oscar winner, George Kennedy. <laughs> George fucking Kennedy. Is he on the wall? He is. He's got to be. Yeah, he's got to be at this point. So thanks to MF Mad, Thank the keeper you, of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, we are inducting George Kennedy there you go. onto the wall tonight. Right next to the Oscar. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Because he was in these films that we have done, and you have to do three to get on the, yes, the Wall of Fame. And he was in Demon Warp yep. mm-hmm. as Crafton, Bill Crafton. Yes. Uh, he was in Uninvited. Yes, the cat boat movie. Yes. Right. Yes, With he was. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There was the Russian nesting doll. Yes. Watch cat. that one. Yeah. yeah. And then he was also in The Delta Force as mm. Father O'Malley mm. in That's The right. Delta Force. There right. you go. So we've done three George Kennedy movies. George <laughs> Kennedy, I think we've talked about him at length. I'm probably. sure we'll do more from yeah. his later episodes. career. Right. Yeah. Because I think he, but that's the thing. Like when I was looking up his filmography, right? He's in all these like really low budget uh, horror movies in this period of time. Mm -hmm. But he was also, I think this year, 88, he was in The Naked Gun. Right. And I, I forget think, he's in the naked guy. Yeah, but that's he did the three of them. Yeah, I, I mean, know. He's you know I think that's, the TV. Did you do the TV show? No, Files was, of Police no, Squad. No, no, because okay. that was like years before. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean the guy had been like in real Hollywood <laughs> movies, you know, yeah. like Cool oh, Hand yeah. Luke and yeah. Oh, was he in cool the great? Uh, not the Great Escape. He was in uh, the Dirty Dozen. Dirty Dozen. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he yeah, was in some of the. You know George Kennedy. George Kennedy's a fucking actor. Airport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He watched those airport movies. He's in every single one of them. He mm-hmm. starts off as like the maintenance guy, I think, ah. in the first one. And by his way the up? fourth one, he's a pilot. He's like, I own this fucking airport. Yeah. He's, the, he's the, the, the linking thing between. He's always shows up in all That's those crazy. airport movies. Uh, yeah, he's a legit actor, but he went through his uh, downturn. And I guess that's the thing. It's like these guys, uh, they take any job that like that came to them. Yeah. Um, no matter how big or how small. Mostly small at this point. Yes. Uh, how long did he work on this movie? Oh, I think this movie was shot in like 12 days. I think he was there for like three. Mm-hmm. So it's all very quick. Yeah. So it's like, okay, sure, I'll do it. You know, it's in California, right? Yeah. So, I'm sure it's close to home. Yeah. It's like, we're going to go up to the Northern California woods for a little bit. Shoot a movie. Yeah. Okay. So 12 days. Vidmark Entertainment, I yes. think, finance this movie. Just go look up that. Uh, logo, you'll get some nostalgia jolt to the heart from this that. This is from the VHS days. Uh, yeah. Good mark. Um, okay, so what? what's going on? Well, first of all, we have a cold pre-title open. Mm. And what do we see at the beginning of this film? How do we open Demon Warp? We are... Is it, are we introduced right into the, the playing of game, Trivial Pursuit with... No. We're in is space. it before that? Oh, oh yeah. I don't. We're okay. in space. Do we see anything in space? Though? No, you just see implied space. Yeah, we yeah. see space. We see. And we Earth. hear something. They couldn't even get like stock footage of but a comet. It didn't look like. You know, like, you know it looked like Earth against a black background. Yeah. Sure, but it looked like a real like 
you know, 1985 computer. Yeah, yeah it wasn't the whole sphere. It was no, a close up of no the curve. Land. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, there was blue. They're like, put blue and put water and put a curve on yeah, it. And yeah, yeah. Earth. Yep. Okay. So and you hear something flying past. Well, it's yes. much like the thing in Predator. I think. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. Those those two movies. It's it's taken the opening title from. Now, to be fair, listener, we watched this on YouTube off of a VHS rip, yes, so it's very true. possible that there was something there <laughs> that we didn't see. Pop. Because, yes. I mean, why else are you just showing right. Earth against black? Okay, but this movie never cuts away from anything mm. ever. Yeah. Scenes go on for a long yeah. time. You see every single take the actor does of a line because they didn't cut yeah, I saw that. Out. I caught yes. that a couple times. Yeah. So I was like, oh, he's, oh, yeah. he's given this twice. Yep. We're just going to use yep. them both. Yep. Yeah, um, don't you love that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was two of the same one. So this, so something crashes to Earth. Something crashes to Earth, and a, a priest comes upon it. Yeah, a priest who's... just wandering the desert, as you do. As, yeah, yeah. I assume this is a normal thing that happens. Most, pre- the, uh, most priests sojourn. So he's got his mule. Yeah. yeah. The priest and the mule. And he believes... So this is way early on, right? I think Hundreds so, of years. He's got uh, uh, a hat on. And he looks uh, of a different era. Yeah. Yes. So that's what we're getting. There's maybe a little sepia tonage going on here. I'm maybe not sure. Maybe a little bit. Because later on he says, after hundreds of years. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he, he comes back. Dun, Stay dun, tuned. Dun. Okay, because I was if like, you can. What was the point of the scene? But <laughs> hey, it is a setup for something. So yes, it's like it's the second coming. It's Jesus. Yeah, in a rocket ship, like yeah. Superman crashes yeah. into the desert, and the the priest is like, "I'm going to go investigate." Cut to this is Credits. like this is yeah, Demon <laughs> War. This is like the one priest from what was the train movie? Um. With uh, Peter Cushing and oh. uh, Chris Lee, where he's like, uh, I Express. believe in Jesus. And then he's like, but I see Satan. Yeah. And now I believe in Satan because he's fucking here. Yes. That's this guy. He's like, I was for Jesus. But then, you know, this guy showed up and yeah. he's convincing. Okay. So what we've got at this point, right? We're like setting up a science fiction movie, which is not, you know, Demon Warp. That's the yeah. title. Right. You, you know, it sounds horror and science fiction. So yeah, we're like, there's okay. a warp. Yep. So uh, then we cut to. The the kids arriving, or the kids, the young adults. No, George Kennedy first. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. Yes, I'm George Kennedy playing True Pursuit on the on the ground, and this felt like a real <laughs> awkward exchange. It's like, all right, you guys have met for the first time. Take your shoes off. Lay on the ground. Let's yeah. play a board game. Yeah. yeah. George Kennedy, very spry for his age, because he's crawling around on all fours, and uh, he moves like a man who doesn't live with pain. So good, yeah. good for him. Good for him. Pain or, age. or uh, you know, some logic. He seems a little touched at the beginning of this. He's just like, uh, I'm missing, I got, I'm missing, you're missing a button. I got four more. Yeah. I've got fine. mismatched socks, you yeah. know. Yeah. And um, he uh, is playing uh, a, a, a trivial pursuit with his daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, and In the Friday the 13th Part 4 cabin. Okay, mm-hmm. so <laughs> so the next, so we got to put this cabin on the wall, right? Probably. Oh, yeah. Because this cabin was also featured in Pumpkinhead. Yep. This is right. the cabin, mm-hmm. and I wish that we had uh, like done something like, where is this thing, and how did it get in all these, <laughs> yeah. how many movies is it actually in? It turns out there's like 15 of them. Or something. Where Probably. can I go visit it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? They shoot it, and they always shoot it at the same angle. It's a good angle. This is the Jarvis house, yes, right? Yes, you got a big, in, in get, big bay window. You got that door that always gets cracked. Through and what happens again, Colin? Uh, somebody crashes through the door. Ah! Who is it? It's Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker! Because it's a movie called Demon War. Right. Hey, and Bigfoot shows up. And we saw an alien land, but Bigfoot shows up, and crashes through the door, and abducts the daughter. Docs, yep. yeah, poor George Kennedy. He can't. Yeah, he can't done. deal anything. He's he's knocked out. No, he's he's done. So he takes the daughter away. I think he kills her, and then drags we her. Never see her again. There. Yep. Okay. Unless she's one of the things later. Cut to dun, 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 dun. now we cut to the horror movie. We yep. cut to the quote unquote teens or young adults in the truck headed to a cabin. Right. The reasoning is a little different in this one. Yeah, and because this movie is always trying to subvert your expectations, which I like. I do appreciate <laughs> that. But at some point, it does kind of feel like they're just like. Uh, well, we don't want to do this because that's obvious. And how about we just do something from another movie? But it does it at the expense of <laughs> yeah. it does it at the expense of all logic. Yeah. Like it, yes. it is willing to do something completely illogical just to subvert your expectations, yeah. Yeah. and it does not work. But that most means, times, so it's a, a self aware movie that the uh, the director uh, and writer are aware that you've seen a lot of. It's aware movies, of certain things, yes, and so it's working to try <laughs> not- and everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't Definitely think I think everything. that's too much credit to okay. give it, but right. yeah. 
So uh, I will agree with you. That's too yeah, bad. yeah. <laughs> so um, four, sure. five, five, t- uh, three. Like young I said, adults. I cannot be quizzed on this movie. <laughs> three women, two, two, three, three guys, three guys, two women, two women. Yeah, arrive at the cabin in the woods. Yeah, and we're like, okay, we know there's a killer, Bigfoot. Yep. On the so this is a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Yep. It's gonna be a slasher movie with a Bigfoot, right? And the clergy is still out there, and they're always a threat. Literally. Well, that was a, the we don't even we're, we're not even thinking about that because okay. that's okay. Uh, we are years the, ago. Di- we have we have changed the channel. Yep, and now we are in the different. Okay. Yep. This movie has George Kennedy still in it, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he's still out there. Yeah. So you know, you're flipping the channels. You see yep. a movie that's got the same. You're like, oh, they're just yep. uh, everyone had the same idea tonight. So what idea did they have their first night? What's everybody doing in this cabin? Is they're they're hanging out? Oh well, first of all, there's the shocking admission from Jack, the, uh, yes, the guy who's Jack. gotten everybody together. Right, his uh, his girlfriend, I think his girlfriend is Claire. No, I was gonna say Claire. There's Carrie. Carrie, and, his girlfriend's Carrie. Um, there's also Cindy. Now, yes. how we know that is because we had to look this up. Yes. Uh, we had to do a lot of research to yeah. get the name. <laughs> yes, because it's not clear from the, the only, movie or yeah. IMDb. Well, there's Clifton, Bill Clifton. He introduces Cla- himself. Clifton? Clifton? Cl- Cra- Crafton. 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 Bill Crafton. That is George That's an odd name. Yeah. Uh, t- truly. And Jack, because everybody shouts Jack's name. Right. So it's Jack easy to just have dude. a one okay. syllable thing. But Jack has brought them all up there uh, under the guise of just hanging out for a weekend, I but. think. But there is an admission he must make that Carrie knows about and forces him. He's like, all right, I'll explain everything tonight. And so he sits everyone down and our file porn, a little bit of file porn. Yes. Ends. Yeah. Got she, me excited. Him, she does. She's like, here, here's your thing. Explain yes. it to everybody and slams a couple files into his chest. And he's he like, flips all right. it open and has it all spread out. Right? You see he does have like shit. newspaper yeah. clips. We don't get yeah. a because yeah. it's a, a 1988 VHS and it looks like shit. Yeah. But we, we, uh, he does spread out kind of what's going on. He's got yeah. maps with and X's and he in puts it. His glasses on. He, yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's got the little yep. wraparound ones yes. where you got to put them around yep. the back of your so ears. Let me tell you. A story. Right, I'm gonna tell you why we're here. I know I lied, but here's the truth. I'm on level with you guys. Jason's real. That's basically this moment yeah um but then he lays it all out he's got his maps of uh, mm-hmm. apparently these woods um extraordinary things have been happening for hundreds of years oh because they they're called the demon woods the demon woods yeah. yes <laughs> evil woods they yell as they drive up there but yes they are the demon woods <laughs> demon woods yes um and so supernatural and other occurrences have been happening um they i think jack heard about what happened to Cra- yes he heard about what happened to crafton and his uncle whose place it actually is Jack's uncle rented it to George Kennedy. Heard about the incident and all that stuff, and then his uncle went up there to investigate and never came back. And, and so, so, and so, Jack is now on a mission to find out what happened to his uncle, what happened to George Kennedy, and to kill the motherfucker that took. Is he related to anybody up there? Or is it no, no, just well, looking for his, his uncle. uncle. Yeah, and then maybe I don't think find he knows anything about George Kennedy because no, they have to introduce true. George Kennedy. He's like, yeah, your uncle rented it to right. me. That's true. No, he's up there to find his uncle and find whatever did this to him. Okay, and Mr. explain Crafton. to me this plan. What's he going to do? How's he going to find? Is he going to go up there and shoot it? And he's going to track it with electronic equipment that is of no real use. It's not really used in any he real way. He brings a bunch of guns. He brings a bunch of guns and electronic equipment that is supposed to track this thing. Maybe. I think. Okay. And so basically, he's brought his friends up to a weekend, and it's like. Guess what, guys? You know, like some people just come up here and play Trivial Pursuit or Parcheesi or something. We're going to hunt a fucking Bigfoot. Yes. (laughs) Like surprise, yeah, basically, yes. Uh, I'd be excited about this. I mean, like, I'd be you know. interested. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, I, <laughs> I'd be like, I, give me the gun. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, okay, this is cool, but like, I would have liked to been able to prepare for this, right? You I know, have like Bigfoot equipment like, at home. If, yeah, I if you, you would have just told me you're hunting Bigfoot, I would have been down with it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you didn't have to lie about this, <laughs> right? Because half of me's going, all right, bullshit. But yeah, okay, but maybe but you know it sounds like I fine. Don't. Yeah, right. we're also gonna go searching for water yeah. with a stick. Yeah, exactly. I was like, what, worst case scenario, we have a stupid fun weekend? Okay, sounds good to me, you know? Yeah, we're, so, and best case like, scenario, you, we find Bigfoot? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's and like, become you rich? Didn't have to lie about this, dude. You could have just said, you well, want to go Bigfoot hunting? He doesn't hunting? know that he's hunting a Bigfoot at this point, right? He's just, uh, my brother didn't Something come back. Happened, We've yeah. come to find uncle. my brother, or my uh, uncle, yes. sorry. My uncle, and we're armed. And we have tracking equipment. Right. And okay. we've heard stories of weird things happening right. for the in last these hundred woods. years. Yes. He's I, got well, them all marked out. Yep. Uh, for me, it's becoming uh horror. Those are the other movies, by the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> Without Warning and uh, Berserker. These are all happening. Yes. In these yes. Well. Sorry, let, me, let me ask you a question. Yes. I didn't sir. catch this. So when they arrive at the cabin, is there no door? It is 
as it was left when George Kennedy got attacked. Okay, so they show up and there's no door in the cabin. And, and, like, it's, oh, and it's messed up. Okay. There's stuff lying everywhere and it's it's messed up. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I guess one. the next thing that would happen in the movie is uh, you get everybody out hunting the Bigfoot. But that's not what happens because night falls. As it and does. romance blooms. Ooh. Because this is a, 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 a booby Bigfoot movie. Yes. All of the women in this movie will get topless nope. at some point nope. in the film. And so we're, we're getting right there, right in uh, these scenes. So Jack. <laughs> There's some good cuts to on Jack where he's just like <sighs> contemplating life as he's getting this. He's so tense. It's just like, yeah, a lot of shit's going on right now. What was the, the segue? The segue was pretty good. I need to be, you know me, I need to be prepared. And she's like, Are here you goes prepared the prepared for me? Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Um, and right. the sex scene ensues that has to be cut away from and then cut it back to. It is long. Too. Yeah. Um, and the other girl, which is either Cindy or Carrie. The the, Carrie. Carrie's the dark-haired one, Cindy's the light-haired one. Okay. Cindy is uh, an actress from a movie, like, I've seen her before. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, she takes a shower, a cold shower. Yeah, uh, there's no hot water. And Fred, which is one of the guys, puts on a Bigfoot mask. Seems like her boyfriend. Right, but apparently not. I don't know. No, I I don't think so, because I think the plan was to drive her into the arms of that creepy guy, right? Like, that's why they did. Yeah. They didn't pull it off well. In, within the movie. He got what he wanted. Like, Wait, he, so creepy guy is um, the brother I think so. the guys. Yeah. I oh, assumed he was interested in her and this was their plan oh. together to oh, maybe, chase her maybe. out of the shower and that's get not bad. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm, How I'm else was okay. I supposed to read this situation? <laughs> she seemed too interested. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. So but, she runs naked but, but out of the yeah. shower but into they had, the arms. Her top. and Fred had more chemistry with, yeah. throughout the movie up until this point. Where yeah. I'm just like, I thought you two were like. Yeah, he What's scares her. He puts a Bigfoot mask on. Well, there's a Bigfoot the mask that is discovered and used to scare her. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Tom, I think we established, was uh, Billy Jacoby, who's yes. like one of the only other recognizable faces in the movie. Yes. Because we tracked him back. He was young Dar in Beastmaster. <laughs> yes. Uh, but horror fans also know him from, he was in Cujo. He was in the movie okay. Nightmares. Uh, okay. His brother, Scott Jacoby, who was in that Bad Ronald movie where guy lived in the walls of the house <gasps> don't tell me that I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah like the, yeah, no, his home his his died. Oh. like he was had a special room and then that's what died. i think yeah, he'll do. yeah some terrible shit's is... gonna happen and you're gonna live in a wall <laughs> no 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 be a bog witch. i'm afraid of it being you'll skip ahead it. 30 seconds if you don't want to spoil it for the for the boy i'm afraid Cookie of it bones. being like a, the boy situation where there's somebody there and i don't know have you checked your walls Michaela? i my i mean my yeah. inspector made me check my attic when when oh, we got no no he did like so he pulled down the thing to look in the attic right and he was like so I'm gonna go up there blah blah did, did he did he go like Looks good. He, no he pulled it down he went up and looked came back down and then he was like okay your turn and I was like no I'm good and he was like and he dead ass looked at me and said this is your house you need to get comfortable with it and made me go up and look at my <laughs> attic before I bought the house and I was like I never would have if he didn't make me do that I never fucking would've. I like this guy yeah yeah, yeah. Shock yeah. White hair. It's like yeah. it's fine up there <laughs> but even like I was thinking like even paranormal activity if I see someone's like childhood photo in the in the foam of my attic I'm gonna be like oh god our house is no gonna he's, he's got like haunted. a little uh, an old, like a 1950s tricycle on a wire oh, God, towards Jesus. you as you look up there like is there anything that you would see in your attic that you'd be okay with no right like uh, there, no you see yeah, anything yeah. that anything other than insulation over. yeah you're like fuck no yep. like Haunted. yeah exactly i've seen sinister in a hundred yeah skills, yeah so. yeah anyway. um but billy jacoby like now goes under the name of billy jace or something that is okay. uh professional when you look him up so he's been in a bunch of stuff he keeps working yeah. but you'd recognize him if you saw his face and see um, so he's Tom and, uh, this is, uh, 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 he is, um, all of a sudden murdered by the Bigfoot. Now you didn't see that coming and neither did we, but yes, the Bigfoot kills Fred, the guy with the Bigfoot mask on right. outside the house and then busts in on all of the teen or the, the young adult, the, the, the people. people and, uh, kills Tom. Yeah. It was right? uh, it was a quote unquote neck snap. With no I real guess, sound effects. yeah. Say, quote, it, it was a bad neck snap. It was. it was him holding his neck for a very long time, and then he's just and dead. And then he turned it. Yeah. That's it. There's no, yeah. there's no like, oomph to yeah, it. Yeah, we're whatsoever. complaining because there was no I makeup just snap. effects. Or oh, yeah. No, but there yeah, was no, makeup. there wasn't even any quick movements. It, yeah. Everything in this movie happened so fucking slow. It's like so lethargic. And this, yeah, it's like he's slowly lowering him to the ground by his neck, and then yeah. it snaps. Yeah. It's bad. Uh, no, get some, you know, get a stick, man. 
It's okay was, to cut um, away sometimes. Yeah. I can't remember. Was Tom the one that was barking for a, uh, a butterfly net? Oh my god. Bucking. Oh bucking for a uh, bucking for a butterfly. Which net. which okay, we gotta talk about this phrase because you guys <laughs> like came up with to Michaela. Yeah, you guys came up with like your interpretation pretty quickly. <laughs> and I was just like, I had no idea what that meant. It's a so, generational thing. It's because yeah, we saw you gotta those be old cartoons. to get that one, I think. Yeah. yeah. Of the guys coming out of the paddy wagon with yeah, the, the guys in the white nets. coats. Yeah. They, yeah. Always, yeah. They, you know, they'd always later on they'd come and get you and put you in a straight jacket before they had nets. I know? just don't hear yeah, butterfly net is like shorthand for mental institutions. Right. Yeah, no, you'd be hard pressed to find. <laughs> I think, unless it's older people yeah. who would understand so that it, reference. If I was writing this now, what I would say <laughs> is he's asking for a grippy sock vacation. Is what I would say because uh, now when you get checked into the mental institution, you wear the socks with the rubber treads on the bottom. They give them to you when you check yeah. in. Sure. So, but I've also gone to um, a trampoline park that gave me grippy socks. So I don't know if I'd yeah. be able to. No, I but it is like it is like standard issue. Like the, the like same pair across. Yeah. Did, yeah. Uh, did the fourth floor ever? Mean anything to you guys? Like that was always the psych ward. But floor. I think that's only in local hospitals. Okay. Yeah, this is talking I'm wondering about. If that made it out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah stay away. Places, so it's, you yeah. know, it's yeah. not too high to die yeah, if you, you jump 50, out the window. 150, yeah. 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 So yep. <laughs> uh, with Tom yeah. dead, I I gotta admit that at this point in the movie, I was kind of surprised because um, I'm like. The attacks are coming fast and furious. Yeah, I didn't expect the thing to just bust in on the first night. I'm and glad it did. Attack somebody. It steals like a toaster. It steals some electronic equipment. It looks like a toaster. I, but Jack? it's like it's like being cheeky about it, though. Like, he's like holding it up and like mugging at the camera. Like, hey, look, look I got it. your yeah. toaster, motherfucker. Yeah. And Jack <laughs> is there. Jack is armed, knocked Jack back on the armed. ground during the attack, and he's like pointing his gun at the monster. Yep. I don't and like Jack. the girls are like, "Shoot it!" And they we're say like, it for five or six it. times. It's like it goes yeah. on for a good like a minute of saying "shoot it" and him just holding, and and the Bigfoot's not moving. And they, it's mugging they, at him. There's literally no, there's no reason. Like no. even on set, they couldn't probably think of a reason. It's like, why didn't you shoot him? I think I, no I actually intuited it, like uh, watching the movie. But I can't tell you what it is because it's a spoiler. But oh. I mean, you go like, why else? You know. And then I discounted it because mm-hmm. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, wait a second, it can't be true because uh, the thing came from space. All right, <laughs> right. That's what we're going with. We're going with the Bigfoot came from space. Or maybe the thing from the end took over the Bigfoot, and the Bigfoot's always been here. Okay. Well, we're going to have to sort this out. Okay, yeah. so now, right, that's the end of Act 1. Act 2, <laughs> we're monster hunting. But we have yes. to enter. So the, the surviving four, right, Fred's dead, so it's the f- surviving three. Yeah, because we got Jack, Cindy, and Carrie. Okay, and they are going out into the woods, now well-armed, and for the next half hour? Yeah, about a half days, hour walking through the woods. They're going to walk through the woods. Yeah, <laughs> Cindy's not too big a fan of... Jack, but then there's a moment later. We'll get to it. Well, they also meet George Kennedy. We introduce they do, George Kennedy. Yeah, George back Kennedy into comes the back into it. Okay, yeah. so uh, and we add new characters to the movie. Oh yeah, random characters. We okay. get to, this is where we get uh, what's her name, Mandy Bauer. What's uh, uh, the actress? Was it Mel- Melissa? No. Nope, Michelle. Michelle, Michelle Bauer. Bauer, the yeah. Scream Queen. Yes, who was in Deathless '80s direct-to-video classics like Naked Instinct. Just a lot with the term. You said at least three movies with the word naked in. But the there was one naked that Island. sounded really dinosaur interesting. Island. Dinosaur that Island. I think I've I'm seen gonna that have one. to scope that out. Maybe bring it because it sounds interesting. Yeah. Well, well she is you're... like. I mean, I guess considered uh, one of the scream queens of that era. She's got. We looked on IMDb. Mm-hmm. Two hundred fifteen movies to her yep. name. Uh, she. You remember her from uh, uh, Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bolorama, which you I think say got it backwards. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama? Wait, is it Slime? Okay, yeah, no, I'm it hearing it backwards. Sorry, yeah. you're right. But I think that one, right, has all three. Linnea oh. Quigley, Brink Stevens, yeah. and Michelle Bauer are all in the in the movie. I mean, obviously, they did other ones together. Sure. But, like, the Scream Queens documentary is about those three. So she's, like, huge. Is yeah. she? I'm sitting there Not going, like, is... I haven't seen any of her movies except for. I'll bet I've seen <laughs> a few of her movies, but... I don't Bikini know. Island, Bikini Ambition. See, I never Bikini, like those. I never like those nineties. Like uh, right, it is yeah, the younger nine, yeah. the nineties ones. And all that. as a younger, uh, as a younger lad, you're someone interested in those. So you probably but it's saw awesome. them and don't remember that. Yeah. Probably, I, probably, probably. Stuff, but also, like I think I learned at an early age. I'm just like I need more plot. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> maybe okay. that's my problem. But I just looked up Dinosaur Island. Okay, and it's what year? 
It is 1994. Oh. Um, and but the the plot synopsis says five downed pilots must contend with hungry prehistoric beasts and lusty cave women on a lush island paradise. Woo! <laughs> I need to watch lusty this. cave yes. women. Yeah. I haven't heard the word lusty, lusty used cave in a while. Women. Yes, which could be a title all its own. Lusty it has cave two women. directors. Who? Of course it does. We Botch. gotta have somebody to specifically direct the lusty cave women. Is it Jim Wynorski one of them? Probably. It, yes. Yes. Jim Wynorski. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Fred Olin Ray. Oh, okay, oh, Fred I'm Olin probably, Ray. I probably know right? half this yeah. cast. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. perfect. So, gotta watch this. Perfect. I'm yeah. Jim Wynorski. Oh. Lusty Cave Women. Wow, yeah, wow, wow, women. wow. I need to find out now. Yep. Um, so she and, um, uh, uh, George Kennedy's real life daughter. Yes. Who plays Tara? Yep. Or her name is Tara. Her name is Tara. Okay. Uh, they, is, they're the yeah. two girls who are coming to, they're in a Jeep. Okay. So she's the blonde one. She's the blonde gotcha. one. Gotcha. Okay. Cause that was part of the agreement. That's why, that's why she's not naked. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Now and, I understand. And George Kennedy said, I'll do your movie, but my like, daughter. I, oh yeah. I want to put yeah. my daughter in the movie. Yes, he did. It's so <laughs> good for him. Nepotism at its finest. So the two girls, and then there's also a hiker, unnamed hiker, also shows up like later on. This <laughs> yeah. is the extra cast. Mm -hmm. So briefly dealing with these side plots, there's a hiker who is wandering through the woods, and he's the a nature photographer starts pelting him with body parts. He does throw an arm at him. He throws something at him earlier, didn't see it, but he does end up throwing a hand at him. Yeah, and then eventually crushes his skull or whatever. After, no, he doesn't. No. He traps him in one of the bear traps. Yeah, which we which pop up a lot in this movie. They're always coming across bear traps. Did you guys grow up thinking this was going to be like a real problem? Because I did. <laughs> like, I saw enough movies where I was afraid of them. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like, I mean, in the area we live, I feel like... If you did see them, it'd be the smaller, like, coyote-sized ones. Like, it wouldn't be the bear-sized ones. Yeah, yeah. But, like... For a fox or something. You, you step in one of those, you're pretty fucked, right? Like, yeah. it's... From every yeah. single I think some movie experience yeah. I've seen, yeah. it's just like... Yeah. Uh, they are designed even, to break a bone. Yeah, yeah like and not let go, it. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, like, and well, you're hoping it's clean, you know? But yeah, it's probably uh, not, rusty. you know? But it yeah, also yeah. makes me think of, uh, like... I don't know if you guys, I, Colin, you've seen Straw Dogs, I'm sure, but I always think of the end of Straw Dogs with the bear trap. So, oh, it, it gets in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alexander Skarsgård <laughs> gets like right through the eye in the remake. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, bear traps get weaponized in a gross <laughs> way in that movie. Yep. Yeah, and there's basically bear traps in Saw. Yeah, yeah, much, yeah. true, right around your head. Yeah, and all that, that stuff. yeah but do, we do, see do it. we still use these like? barbaric I think, devices I think like they do yeah, yeah they get trapped those bears yeah because yeah. it seems like the one of the easier ways to lay something out and go back yeah, and check it's just, something. Oof. Yeah. but it's just like it could so easily get the wrong thing like that's the thing foot. you could so easily like a step foot. in it yeah, yeah. It's and maybe just, the they haven't caught a big yeah. foot are they smart and they get, what if they the just caught traps? a big foot <laughs> Like just the, the foot? foot, the big yeah. foot's big foot, yeah. and that's all you found Rose when you came back. Yeah. Off, that thing grabs yeah. it off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? So um, we're in the woods. The, the guy who's laying the bear traps is George Kennedy. Yeah. Turns out that he's and his out hunting. Bright yellow hat. Yeah. So it can see him. Yeah. He's I was out. They'd explain that hunting the thing that killed his daughter. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This two, is the half hour of the movie where it's in broad blazing daylight. Yeah. It is High like tw yeah, like w it's the ugliest time to oh, shoot it is. anything. It's the ugliest. It looks time. awful. The shadows it casts are <laughs> haunting and ghoulish. Like, it's just <laughs> like it, it, go outside and take a picture of yourself at noon and see how horrifying yeah, nobody's you look. having yeah. a good time at yeah. that moment. No. Mm -hmm. no, the girls are though. Now, oh, yeah, uh, the ones in the yeah. Jeep, yes, yes, it's Michelle Bauer, and so we assumed that we were gonna get uh, uh toplessness like very quick. So Sean's sitting over here <laughs> and he's like engineering a scene that's coming up that we assume is coming up. At what point? Well, like which? Because they. Well, you were saying like, oh, we're gonna go swimming. Uh, oh, right. and yeah, <laughs> where's our suits? And you know, we'll get them. You know, get them top. You didn't bring your swimsuit. No. Yeah. yeah. I didn't bring anything. Sh Sean's literally has his whole scene plotted out, like beat for beat, the <laughs> way like, we all yep. know it. It's the movie. And we're like, yep, it's going here. He's nailed it. And but then there's no lake. <laughs> so what happens when there's no lake? We got to get a tan anyway. It is it, it, it is a toplessness reveal out of literally nowhere. Yeah, just, it's like she I, just takes her top off. Like, she doesn't okay. even lay down. She just starts walking laps around this area topless to yeah. get a tan. Oh my god! It's this is it. the best way to avoid tan lines. Yeah, you know? right. And they're just like because the one girl who who is still clothed is lean is laying down. How you would lay down on yeah. a blanket? While the other ones they always gotta have boobs just shooting towards the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's like ah. 
Oh, I love Sonic. <laughs> I know. I, I also like that because I always watch the actresses with a uh, great interest. In the, <laughs> okay, yeah, because, sure. understandable. Uh-huh. But they know what they're doing. They're, you know, because the one girl oh, yeah. earlier in the love scene like threw her hair away because she's like, okay, right, I know cameras what, here. what side yeah. the camera's yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they so, can find their light. As, yes. you know, <laughs> they know how to do it. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, these girls are attacked by a Bigfoot. Of course. And I think the one girl gets her head fucking torn yeah. off. Yeah, right. this is Which our is first pretty kind of cool decapitation. Right, it's a good decap. It's her first like major kind of gore moment. Yeah, because she gets the. Uh, w- it's a deciding moment for the movie because we get into the head twisty stuff again, and we're just like, okay, what are we gonna do now? But we get a head that gets taken off. Yeah, we're thrown. like, yeah, finally, mm-hmm. gory head Something. dismemberment. Yeah, maybe her head that showed up later. Yeah. I think it is her head okay. that shows up later. Okay. Feels like it. We're not so, sure because we watched it on YouTube. We, oh, yeah, we did. A blurry vision. Couldn't see Three, a lot of details. 360. Yeah. Yep. So um, the remaining uh, uh, hunters meet the hunter, which is uh, George Kennedy, who's yeah. got a base camp and he's laid all the traps and he explains uh, the movie's mythology. He doesn't actually, I'm lying. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's just like, <laughs> no, no, <nobody laughs> here to kill the thing no, that killed my daughter. Knows. Yeah. That's and it. we're like, okay, at this point in the movie, we're like, it's going to be like a demon warp? Is the yeah. fucking Bigfooted demon? What is the science fiction opening to this movie? What the fuck is going on? It feels like we're delaying at this point. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of delaying. There's a lot of walking through the... Through the not forest, as you the, pointed no, out, Sean, the, is like through the brush and the bush and the fucking outback is no. where they are. They do these tight close ups of them like acting like they're pushing jungle out of their it's face, the, and it's a bush. The, yeah, the way they shoot it, <laughs> yeah, it's just like all right, you guys have to be close to this cliff and walk through the brush, even though if it's they turn clearly, the right, if they turn yeah. the camera two feet. Wide open field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can see the it's cheapness like in the movie. Edging at that, point. that they're pushing right, yeah, through. Just, yeah. like, just stay close to this so we don't get the rest of this. I'm like, yeah. there's a road right there. Yeah. And so at some point, right, as they're hiking, uh, Jack has to help Cindy up a little ravine. And there's that moment where the pheromones are going off and it's like, oh my God. But then we're sitting there going like, wait a second. I remember how this movie started. And didn't he sleep with the other girl? She's his girlfriend. Yeah. He slept like, with Carrie. What the fuck is happening? And Cindy and Jack have not liked each other <laughs> right. since uh, a little after he you know, revealed what was going on and, and the scare and all that stuff. And then they make this moment where it's just like, mm, no, not feeling that. Yeah. And um, they shouldn't be either. Well, the Bigfoot comes uh, into this camp and there's a whole thing there's a about, tussle yeah because some everybody's got like shotguns aimed at it but they can't shoot it because it's got everyone's got Jack. a fucking everyone's got a fucking rifle that you can only shoot once and have to fucking physically yep. reload Ching. which is the wrong idea for all of this but whatever uh cindy stabs the shit out of it she's the, really the monster and then apparently gets killed in a scene we don't remember cindy I mean, she stabs the shit out of it there's Jack gets knocked out carrie and Michelle Bauer run off. Okay. So they're off doing something else. We don't see what happens to Cindy. We do find out later. Jack wakes up. No, they up. just run out of the movie for a while. For a while. Yeah, point, for like yeah. the next, I think they're 20, being chased by the Bigfoot who walks like all these guys do. But I mean, like the chase scenes are very dramatic. Oh, yeah, a lot somebody... of lower leg shots of just the Bigfoot running. Maybe in woods. slow motion to make it seem heavier. Maybe. It's very like, it's totally We're... walking. And yeah. And you could run away from there's it. There's a but, lot. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot in that. Did you say it killed George Kennedy? We're Smashed very sad George to see him Kennedy's go. head. Yep. He's gone. He's out of the picture. Yeah. Him and his daughter both died in the same movie. They must be very proud of that. Yep. <laughs> And so uh, this kind of leaves us with uh, the only survivor. Apparently. The guy, the most, le- the least interesting person out of this whole thing, the guy who I don't want to be with, Jack. I don't like this guy. Why? I don't like the actor. What's wrong with him? He's, What's his name? He, he, this guy, <laughs> I don't even, nope, don't know. <laughs> this guy feels like he's, he, he talks about him being the only one on the set with training besides George Kennedy. Like, he's like, I've been trained actor. Like, that comes up a yeah. lot in conversation from this guy, I have a feeling. Oh, ouch. ouch. Yeah, I, it, it really does, because he's very dramatic in the face and in the hands. He went to the hand, the school for hand acting. Mm. <laughs> you did say that while we were watching. You he's, said, he's doing, when he's he's talking, he's doing, he's doing a lot of this, and he's doing a lot of... I feel like I, that's how I would be if I was an actor. I feel like I'm just too too mobile for to not have my hands doing something. Right, I don't you know? think he has confidence in his face. I think that's how that works. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a you great way to phrase it. Body yeah. When you don't have confidence yeah. in the yeah. way you look, yeah. he's like, he's looked in the mirror. He's like, my face doesn't change. <laughs> 
I'm terrified right now. And he's like grinning. There was a scene, actually, I suppose you should bring up huh. uh, uh, about this, this section of the movie because Predator came out the year before and uh, it's very hard to watch it without going like, okay, they, George Kennedy's got dynamite traps also. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know? it, truly, it truly was another moment. The, 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 kill me. Do it now. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Like he was waiting for because he's got yes. those trip wires of just big sticks of dynamite hanging yeah. all over the place. Right. This has got to be dangerous. I'm surprised he didn't blow himself up. He should have. Somebody should have. Why didn't anybody blow up? Right. This is what I was about to say. Like you introduce money. dynamite in a movie, you <laughs> have to money. blow it up. But it costs money. Yeah. But, but, but you can blow up and then show aftermath. There's ways to do it. In other movies, we've established that like an explosion. Without warning, had an explosion. Yeah. Because an explosion did. is actually a cheap special effect. You yeah. Just that's fuel, the easiest fire, one. And boom, it goes. I think it's. I think what scares them is like the continuity and having to reset and reshoot. Sort yeah. Of thing. Or you're in the you woods know. and you yeah. don't want to burn the place down. Maybe yeah. it's fall that's or whatever. And like, we got to get the fire department in here and wet everything down. We can't afford that. <laughs> we got to move. We got 12 days. <laughs> So did you I wonder if there was a Colin, when you set fire we to did. the woods. Okay. Well, not for that night. We got there uh, twice. <laughs> but yeah, we did everything by the boat. We had permits and everything. I know. I remember. I was just making sure, uh, you know. Maybe not permits. Truth. But we did. Okay. <laughs> no, so anyway. There were no permits. You got permission. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Jack, off by himself, uh, discovers there are zombies in the woods. Okay. So turn twist something <laughs> like because we're where else just, are we gonna go at this point the bigfoot has killed okay, the cast uh, all right the, the hike okay first of all there's the hiker who we cut back who, who's in the movie for like a good 10 minutes because a that's how long he's pursued through the woods it feels it's like a very long scene it is very long scene. he ditches his backpack and he's stuck at his camera and he's running through the woods i thought if they wanted to do a sequel they can do the whole jaws jaws 2 thing where he he takes pictures of the yeah. of the thing and when they find, find his body him. later they can yeah. develop it and then we have demon work okay. too but he is being pursued through the woods and then a random white-eyed zombie looking motherfucker walks by him now out of this is an, out of nowhere but he, the zombie. This is only in the way that they physically look and they shamble about. Yeah. yeah but the zombie has no interest in this guy. None. Walks no. right past him. None. He has a different objective. It's a very much more calm objective than yeah. eating brains. He walks over the hill. And we're like, yeah. what in the holy hell is going it's on? It's out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's a plot thread that has not been established before. And it walks off. Mm -hmm. And yep. then we're just like, okay. Yep. But then, uh, so Jack encounters Cindy. Yep. And. Turns her around, and she is also a zombie. Yes. So this happened off camera, and so you're forgiven if you don't remember when. But <laughs> yes. Cindy and uh, Michelle Bauer ran off. Uh, no, Cindy no. was killed. No, Cindy, Cindy was stabbing it, yep. and then we didn't really see, we didn't what, see what happened. But mm -hmm. now she's a zombie. Okay. Right. She's got an eyeball like kind of hanging out, or it's missing. That side of her face yep. is a little messed up. And zombie. she's like, Arr. And so she's going into a cave in the woods, and yes. so Jack, intrepid Jack, follows after her, and and then we're into the next movie in the cave. Uh, Are you surprised? I'm surprised. I mean, I guess because I guess again, I thought uh, the when the 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 creature seems intelligent, it disarms the trap. Remember where it disarms the, uh, the dynamite? The dynamite. Yeah, it pulls out the, the it plug. Takes uh, electronic equipment from and taunts them like, "Look, I'm taking your toaster, right?" Yes. Uh, so <laughs> taking your toaster in the cave, uh, Jack discovers all of this electronic equipment and and an alien ship. Yeah. That's right. So like the thing or E.T., it has been trying to rebuild an alien craft in that we saw over, presumably at the beginning of the movie right, over many years, hundreds, hundreds of years. But yeah, we are also we see, years. Jack stumbles around. There's like pieces of technology all over the place. Kind and of shells. Head. Yeah. And a what? And a head. And a head. There's a head. He does find a head. And then we see more people kind of just messing with the technology. Some are using screwdrivers. Some are These just are zombies, wandering about. You're saying. Zombies, this though. is John Carl Beekler looking in his. He's like, oh, I'm going to open up my effects closet and see what kind of masks I have in I here. I don't think this was Beekler. I, I don't think so. According either. to the credits, Beekler designed the Bigfoot, okay. which he designed, I think, for Cellar Dweller. Right. And it got repurposed. Okay. I think the makeup masks on these other people are done by somebody else. Yeah, but, but, 
Bauer, Bowden, something like that. There's a name in there. I forgot. Okay. It. it sounded familiar. So there's zombies in the cave and they're drone workers. Basically, yes. Helping reconstruct the alien craft. The- because clearly the Bigfoot came from space and it wants to get back to its home planet. I don't know that the Bigfoot came from space. I know that the Bigfoot did not come from space because what do we find out? The Bigfoot attacks and Jack shoots it this time, which is oh, yeah, before. Right. And we find out why Jack was hesitant about shooting the Bigfoot in the first place. Because he knows it's his uncle? There's a transformation scene. There Who saw is. this coming? It's a were Okay, no, from here to the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. From here to the end of the movie, I saw none of this coming. Yeah. <laughs> there was a hope, but Well, this never. was what I was like. He didn't shoot the thing because he knows it's his brother. But how he could have uncle. his, his uncle. goddamn Damn uncle. Damn all to hell. <laughs> how he could have this knowledge yeah no there's no there's nothing yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a jump across a canyon to yep. connect these dots yeah. there's no I way think he says in the dialogue like it looked at me for a split second and, and i, I saw who it was. yeah but in the movie of course he stares at him for you know like a good five minutes right um but anyway so yeah there's a transformation scene. The Bigfoot turns into the uncle and is like, Jack, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. They or do- made me do it. And you're like, who's that? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, that's right. What the fuck yeah. are we talking so about? So at least we're moving slowly onto the next thing. We're, we're being drawn and pushed towards something. Yep. Like, who's they? Let's yeah. figure that out now. The aliens. Mm. aliens. Are there aliens? Alien. Then all of a sudden we cut to. The inner a circle s- satanic, s- the satanic <laughs> chamber in the, in the spaceship. spaceship with the priest. Yes. Okay. A lot. So the priest from the beginning of the movie yes. now is now an acolyte satanic garb. Yes. Yep. Is got uh, a naked woman, which I think it's Michelle Bauer at this point. The first, yes. the first one. Uh, yeah. Michelle yes. Bauer strapped to a table. Yes. He's got the ceremonial dagger and he sacrifices her. Well, to who? The demon? Which is an alien. It's an alien. Wait, who's also got like a metal hand as a claw because he's been through some shit. It's like, but also it's not not very mobile. A a death throth or whatever is in the corner of the room, but he's like encased in something. Yeah, it's like he can't get out of there. This is why he has to have the, that's why he has the priest and uh, his drone demons and everything to help build the ship because I, I don't think he can do it. Took him a hundred years. Uh, yeah, he, it took only he can't. It move. Took him a hundred years. He, he can't move from where he's at, Colin. Maybe he had to wait for the boom boxes to be invented before he could steal. Technology the had to catch up yeah. with. Him. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's okay. why. I was gonna say, or maybe it's like an interstellar thing where like a hundred years on this planet is only like seven hours where he's from or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe yeah. it's okay. A, a so yeah, time. but yes, he's had to wait for all of that to f- for people to stumble across. The woods. This is why all the weird shit's been happening over the last hundred years. It's because he's been there slowly trying to get back to his planet and weird shit's been happening. Okay. I'm going to follow. Okay. So I have some questions. Okay, go. Uh, question number one. Why ritual sacrifice? I think that was a conversation between the priest and the alien. <laughs> yeah. I think the priest brought that the into The priest it. converted the alien as soon as he landed. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or, or, so I, th- there were, I think they're just like, you are oh, my master and I your have to faith. Stay. We can do this. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I think from the, what the movie tells us is he cuts Michelle Bauer's heart out and mm-hmm. feeds it to right. the creature. And he's like, Correct. There's more. There's so much more. There's so much more. That was the double take, right? Uh, he did it yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Um, and so you were going to feed the, the, the monster hearts. human hearts. Uh, okay. Sure. And sustenance. All right. Sustenance for him. Uh, uh, sacrifices for the priest. Okay. Who loves this good sacrifice, right. I guess. I got another question for you. And this one, I admit, is a doozy. Okay, oh. you ready? So, okay. Let's follow this. A creature crashes to earth. The priest finds it. The creature somehow, uh, you know, it makes the the priest an acolyte, and the uh, then also he's able to make zombies, and he's immortal, and wow. he's immortal, right? He's gonna okay. Uh, what's with the Bigfoot muscle? I mean, there is a theory that Bigfoot <laughs> is a scouting alien. And wait, that, wait, the theory of this movie? Or and no, you? this is like a theory in this like life. <laughs> it's not my life, theory. This is you, okay. It's not my theory, but I would say that it's possible. But you subscribe but to this. I, I might, but like, there's a theory Are you that an alien shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's going to be yeah. a little UFO. I, uh, there. A little UFO, I'm sure. I no, there's a theory that Bigfoot is actually like 
uh, a lower class of mm. alien being sent down to gather data and send mm. back to a mothership. Mm. So, like, they're scouting aliens, and the reason why they're like primates is because that would look native to this sure. planet. And so, the reason we can never find them is because it's they, they are get taken, taken back, back up, up or they cloak or something. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So see, see, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm get I'm get see, I'm converting you like the priest did. See? Yeah. Except that doesn't and now, work in and this Michaela, movie. Michaela, put that dagger away. Yes. <laughs> But what's happening? In <laughs> but that's not what's happening in this no, movie. Because no, because in this movie, no. right? Uh, somehow, um, uh, Jack's uncle went to the woods, must have stumbled on the alien thing, and it said, "You know what? I need worker drones, but you, I'm going to turn you into a big. You're foot. too pretty. Yeah, you're going to be a Bigfoot. <sighs> and so then, as a Bigfoot, you're going to go around and well, he does maybe abduct. He... Maybe, maybe he and the Bigfoot, all he does is kill people. Yeah, maybe. he yeah. stabs that one guy. He, he makes does. zombies. He do, and he stabbed that guy in the gut with a stick for a yeah, long time. Who was stuck in the trap? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Maybe they had killed a Bigfoot and they had it there in the cave. Okay. And then they're they like genetically crossbred him. I think they're just like I think he, you you might be right. Like the alien turned him into a Bigfoot. It's like that okay. thing is all powerful and yeah. can attack and is kill people. I need one of those. I'm gonna okay. change you into that since I have you here. All right, I'm going with this. Tell me it's wrong. And then, but the, with the motive of recruiting, I guess the he, the Bigfoot kills the people and then they turn into zombies. Yeah, yeah. He needs someone okay. to go get the people. Okay. You need some bigger. Yeah, I can't just have a dude because they might escape him or whatever. He needs a Bigfoot to get the people to help him build the ship. Okay. So with Michelle. <laughs> Hour out of the movie. Now they wheel in Carrie. Yes. And uh, it turns out Fred, if you remember correctly, oh, yeah. Fred is the guy who wore the Bigfoot mask and tried to scare uh, Cindy, Cindy mm -hmm. outside the window. We're, we're still on top of this. We, we're we no, still good. As we're much good. as we can. Um, he's still alive. Still alive. And uh, with the mask on. Yeah. How and, annoying for a day. And so he's like, yeah, I've been here and blah, 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 blah. And we're going to wait as they like the creatures come through. And then we're going to try and blow this thing up because we got the dynamite. Right. But he gets impaled by the aliens. Uh, scaly. Oh, yeah. There's like a scorpion attack to the chest thing. That was great. <laughs> great. night. he's screaming. He's like, oh, ah! yeah, I believe he got it right in the chest. Yep. And somehow, so then I think Jack just shoots the fucking alien. He, he I mean, like, it really Pow! is. It's just yeah, yeah. you're dead. And uh, but unfortunately, Fred. Well, there's a lot of, at this point. There's also a lot of weird cutting because Jack gets beat up by the horde of zombies, and they, then they just wake up. He wakes up next to Fred, and they're okay, and they can continue on with their. Yeah, plan. we don't know. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of that where it's like, yeah, you remember what happened five minutes uh, ago? Because we don't. Yeah, Jack so shoots a dude, going. but there's also there's we only see aftermath. He shoots a zombie. We only see aftermath and everything. We don't see how he got the gun, how it shot, and everything. Yeah. Remember the guy who goes, oh, oh the Tom shows back up. Uh, shows Billy back Jacoby yeah, shows yeah. back up as a zombie, but he's like, hey, Jack, we were gonna make you one of us. Blah blah he, he blah. He does very New York. Yeah, do a New York zombie. And he shoots him. Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, uh, before he shoots the alien. Uh, mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Fred's been tagged by the alien uh, pincher, and yeah. now he's turning into a bigfoot. He's like, <laughs> he's trying to. Yeah, he's trying to tell me. He's like, look at me. I'm turning into a beast. Yeah, that's it. just kill me. Leave me here with the dynamite. I'll never be the same. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. He got stung, and do they all? Does everybody turn into a bigfoot if they get stung? I don't know, but yes. And then, uh, so now, on, sure, sure. You know what? Sure. I, 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 I lost the battle with this movie in the third <laughs> act. I was like, yeah, whatever, whatever you say, movie. Sure. Fine. Well, well Cindy, whatever gets me out of here. Cindy topless laid out on the sacrifice. She would, uh, okay. Carrie is rescued, right? Because Jack, this is Jack's girlfriend. If you remember that, sure. the, the, yeah. uh, he dresses her in I the guess. priest cloak. And the two of them take off, and there's going to be. I don't think it's a priest cloak. It feels like the other part of the suit of the, <laughs> the suit, hairy fucking the, the Bigfoot suit. Yeah, like, yeah. Fred of the mask. They put her in the rest of the outfit, <laughs> and then they run out of the movie. Yeah, the longest run away from an explosion. Did the explosion happen? It did. Did it? If the running was running away was so long that it felt like it didn't, but it did. Okay. But it immediately goes to the void. Okay, that's why I missed it. And that's why you missed it because immediately after the explosion, we go to this black void where Carrie and Jack are in bed, and you immediately know you're just like, why are they in a black void? Because there's no, they're not in any room or anything. We soon found out why. Why? Um, because um, Jack's having nightmares. Uh, Carrie tries to console him, and then all the zombies start coming in from the void to be like, <laughs> but what happens? It's a dream. Oh, does he wake up? He kind of wakes up to a demon version of Carrie stroking him, and then he wakes up again to 
himself. Yes. Uh, this yeah. is my double monster. It's, you you hate I, the dream fake like out. You hate the, like just, especially when it's in a void it where it's can, like, the, that doesn't yeah, make any sense. Like it can yeah. work, but come on. Well, yeah. the last shot then is Jack, presumably in the real world, waking up from a nightmare, yes. which was Alone. several layers deep was the movie we just watched. Yes. And Very so much like Inception. the ending negates everything that you just saw. It was all a dream. It could. I think he's just having nightmares yes. about his experiences. Yeah. So they made it out? Yeah, because so? he said something like, I can't shake off the thought or something like that. Yeah, but that, that was in one of the nightmares. Yeah, that's true. And I he mean, does wake up without her I later, don't... but yeah, he wakes at up that point, we're like, like no, yeah. no, at that point, you're like, are we done? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> are we done? Okay, we're done. I'm like, it doesn't really credit. make a difference to me. It does, yeah. this, no, it doesn't. No, at this point, yeah. you're just like, okay. Yeah. How do you want to end it? Yeah, just make up your mind. There's just not gonna be a big right. There's just not gonna be a big something. difference in my feelings yeah. from the last ten seconds to these five. <laughs> yeah, so, so, just so do what one. you need yeah. to do. Throw your credits on the screen <laughs> yeah. and let's go. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here already. Okay, come on. Oof. Yes. And this is the third movie in the dr- in the drive-in that you stayed for. And you're just like I shouldn't have stayed for this. Movie. Yeah, you're like I should have <laughs> left after the second been one. Two yeah. hours ago. Yes. <laughs> That's oh, this God, movie. I've been there so many times. Oh. What was the running time on this? Do we know? Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Really longer than yeah, that yeah, because of like, the padding it didn't I mean, need to be like, yeah. because we saw five takes of everything everything yeah. just every goes on yeah. very long um Ooh-wee. okay well it's uh demon demon warp mm. so uh now no we're gonna... technical warp in this movie there's no. no warp no no warp i was disappointed yeah because like last week if i come for killer fish or a demon <laughs> warp i yeah. want there to be a demon warp Truly, like do we couldn't we couldn't have warped there was yeah we couldn't have warped one person especially if there was a lead up of showing people going into a cave they couldn't fake a little warp in the cave entrance or like even when they go into that the colored oh, spaceship yeah yeah like yeah, yeah exactly Maybe you put a you could do one like <laughs> camera digital effect where it's yeah. just like sh- a swirl. even Phantasm swirl, yeah. had a warp it and did. it didn't have shit yeah that right? movie was a low budget <laughs> it had a mirror and that would, <laughs> yes. it had a whole other goddamn planet too. yeah. And that movie had a void at the end with a dream sequence that worked. Yeah. 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 A lot of phantasm. Going uh, on. Yeah. There we go. We mm-hmm. just brought it back. Okay. So now uh, we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought individually of tonight's movie and whether or not we would recommend it to you. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I was like, my hands Sean was what not I prepared for that. Oh, my I have to God. drop the pen. Like, like, Let's go. Sean picked up a pen right as I it was I did. I was just like, this pen's been down here for yeah. like 10 years. I really got ADHD right there. I was just like, oh, I have to clap. And I couldn't keep contain myself watching you do that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can uh, participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X. Do I send it in my at lap? Sat it Freak on Show. Okay. Uh, on, uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Uh, or uh, Instagram or threads at Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, Nicholas Namington writes in about <laughs> Demon Warp and says Betsy's battle okay. against tan lines was the best part of this boob foot movie. She okay. Boob foot. Oh my God. Boob foot. It is boob foot. <laughs> boob foot. There you go, Trademark that. Boob yeah. Foot. Uh, it says, okay. Just, just, just all the toes are boobs. Yeah, boob foot. <laughs> <laughs> boob foot. Uh, it says, okay, maybe George Kennedy's hat was also. Best part of the movie, Jack, oh. maybe the most unlikable lead character ever. Don't like He's this bad, dude. Yeah. And I wish Buddy from just one of the guys, that's yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> Billy Jacoby, yeah. had yeah. more screen time. And why did they have fake boobs in 1988? Or All- did they have fake boobs in 1988? Yes, apparently. they did. They yeah. did. Uh, for the full history of implants, go watch a movie called, uh, an HBO movie called Breast Men, starring David Schwimmer and gotcha. what's his name? Cooper. Last name Cooper. Bradley. Nope. Not that Cooper. The other uh, Cooper from like adaptation and shit. Um, oh, oh shit! Somebody, Chris like, Cooper. Chris Cooper. Yeah, Chris Thank Cooper. You. Uh, fantastic movie. Uh, Joey Blythe said, "YouTube saves the day." Vidmark, <laughs> knock yeah. off Halloween music. George Kennedy, boobs. That Bigfoot transformation was nightmare fuel. Zombies, aliens, demon scorpion, 
cult guy in a robe. Shit gets weird at the end of this movie, and there's four endings. I couldn't decide where to go with this post, and I don't think they knew where to go with the movie, but yep. I think I kind of liked it for what it was. <laughs> Whatever it was, Who's I'm that? tired. It was a lie. <laughs> that, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. tired it was a lie. lie. Yeah. Yes, that is it. That's, that, yeah, that's yeah. like the closing words of the well, the fucking Mars rover. It's, yes, it's yeah. dark I'm tired. Now, oh, God. And it's don't. time to go to sleep. It's like, oh! <laughs> That was a pretty good review so right sad, there, Joey. Yeah. I like that one. Uh, yeah. Novato Judoka said, "I think I watched the right movie, and if this is the if if this movie had a throat, I'd punch it right in." <laughs> All I could think while watching it was George Kennedy, sir. You were in Cool Hand Luke. Gotta yeah, make money. gotta make money. I fast forward to the topple scenes; just ended sooner. Yeah, that's fine. Last week, we watched a movie called Killer Fish and Scraw 793 says, I was a bit drunk when trying to watch this, gave up when waiting for the titular Killer Fish to appear, mm. and began watching Terminator 2 instead. I do love me some Karen Black, so I may revisit this movie in a more sober state. Karen Black was fantastic, opposite Oliver Reed in the immortal horror classic Burnt Offerings. You guys seen I Burnt haven't Offerings? Seen Burnt I have offerings. heard so much good stuff about that, and I've never seen it. It's not... That it really good? okay, so people are over. I don't know, it. but it is maybe like, it's just been around long enough, or just like, yeah, yeah. I've heard or it mentioned on a lot. It's of one of those things yeah. that I think a lot of people saw it and okay. it made yeah. an impression gotcha. when they saw it. Did we not do it? Either? We haven't done Bird Off. Okay. I've never seen it, so but I, mean, I literally yeah. know the title, I know nothing. About yeah, same. Movie. I think it's Burgess Meredith. Oh, oh, oh wait, all right, he said the right words. Yeah, is where he's, it's no, coming. I don't know if I'm thinking of the right. No, it's uh, is, is it a Betty surprise Davis? Burgess Meredith appearance? We it love a be, surprise Burgess Meredith appearance. Betty, Betty Manitou? Davis. Did he I show up in the Manitou? It. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that was a great <laughs> scene, too. He was just well, yeah, acting with acting. everything. Oh, yeah, he's like, I'm gonna yeah. mess with all the prop yep. on the wall. <laughs> um, <laughs> Burgess Meredith saves every movie oh, he does. Uh, about killer fish, Apple Eva says, Jizo, a major, a Lee Major sighting. He is, he was so my hero as Steve Austin. Steve Austin. I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen an episode of that show. Man. I'm curious. Man. How decimated was he before they had to put him back together? It happens in the opening credits. It was like <laughs> Colonel Steve Austin was coming back in a return mission and he like crashed he get, and they rebuilt him. Did it crash and he get blown out of the sky? It, Does you know, he have to crashes. get revenge? Oh, that's not it fun. It crashes. It better if someone Oscar shot Oscar Goldman says, we, don't worry, gentlemen, we can rebuild him. In the we opening have credits, the technology. We have the technology. And then here's all the credits. And yeah, he's got a fake bionic eye, arm, and two legs. Okay. And then he's okay. a government property at that point. Sure, right. Yeah. Down. It's just like, yes. you know that metal in your body? We own that. Yep. I'm sure that was yeah. a line from the movie or from the show at some point. You'll do what we say. Joey Blythe. Oh, wait, actually, the pilot episode, I think, did have the crap. Okay, anyway, okay. going back. Uh, Joey Blythe uh, says about Killer Fish, that game of backgammon, though. Oh, yeah. my God. It was uh, intense. And that I wish dude, the money had been stacked next to the board. <laughs> yeah, because it goes better. on for a long time. And the dude's hair dried itself right before he died. Karen Black smiles at weird moments. <laughs> this is 100% yep. comedy. It, yeah, it that's the way like to go it. into yeah. it. That's the way mm -hmm. to watch it. Man, I like that movie. Okay. I think, uh, again, there's nothing... Nobody There's else. There's a did. reason Mr. Science didn't. Theater did it. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Science Theater. Right, did. but yeah. you knew all the people in it. Yeah. Yeah, we did not. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the week before we watched a movie, it was called Disturbing Behavior. Oh, Dem yeah. Twisted Animation says Disturbing Behavior w was totally razor. Uh, <laughs> I saw this movie though. a couple years ago for the first time and I liked it a lot and was entertained. I've been wanting to rewatch it for a while since maybe someone put acid in my spam when I first watched <laughs> it. So I want to see if I still like disturbing behavior. But now, thanks to this great episode of the podcast, I'm going to rewatch it very soon. <laughs> All right. We, we used to do dinners before the movies yes. here on the Freak Show. Yes. Uh, acid for many spam. Years we did, yeah. Yeah. Acid spam would have been a good dinner to have <laughs> yeah, before watching have. this movie. Those are all quotes from yep. uh, Aaron Don Gilmer says Nick Stahl was ultra creepy in Bully. Oh, I don't I think have I've not seen, seen Bully. that. Yeah. I heard a lot about it. Yeah. I have not seen Bully. Travis Legler says he was a good kid actor in the TV movie Man Without a Face. But I remember credit, that. Mel Gibson. No, no, the TV movie, he says. Oh, the, that's why I'm like, was Nick Stahl in? Did they make two versions of that? I thought Nick Stahl was in the movie movie. If, Nick Stahl if, was in the movie movie. Then that was, a, that was an actual was theatrical movie. Yeah. 
Okay, but he says to his credit, he's been in some interesting stuff. Truly. Says. Did we even mention that he was in Carnival on that episode? Oh, like, I, I feel like so. we missed that. Like, yeah, he was the, the lead guy. in Carnival. Oh, did we, did yeah, we for like Carnival? Men, yeah. I know, because that was like one of those, like all HBO shows of that. Clancy vintage. Brown was also Brown was in that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wasn't he yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about Carnival. It's one of those that has like disappeared to the sands of time, but it didn't deserve that. Like, it deserves to be remembered. HBO probably pulled it off the streaming service. Well, it did, but the problem with. Those shows in that era, I remember it was like you watch one week and nothing happens. But if you yeah. watch two episodes together, it's meant for binging. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, oh, okay, you know, which is why like it only lasted for like what two, three, two seasons. Yeah, it was yeah. 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 and it's yeah. canceled. Yeah, but I also feel like that was that era where they were spending an insane amount to produce TV shows too. Like that looked like a very expensive show to produce. Yeah, a lot you of, know, a lot of period and... fantastical stuff at that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. dust bowl. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah, he could heal people or something. Right? Yeah, like something so. like that. Uh, long time. Paul Shorty says there was a point in my teens where I wanted to be Gavin Strick. That's the character played by mm-hmm. Nick Stahl. It lasted about three weeks, yeah. but it happened. Yeah, oh, we've all that. been through yeah, that. You just yep. want to be a fucking dirt ball, <laughs> like, <laughs> like yep. a fucking dude. He's the like, but he's connected in the school. Right, well, that's what I mean. Like around. you want to, you're the one, but you know also you know know everything that's going on. He was kind of a pretentious dick about it, but whatever. Yeah. William Sadler was also in the movie, and Richard Crotzer yep. says William Sadler has been hit that same age. My entire Forever. life and yes. his. Yes. Yep. It yeah. really has. I know. What's the what's the youngest you've ever seen William Die Sadler? Hard too. Probably, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah. was the same. Yeah. I saw him in the Tales from the Crypt, the pilot Tales yeah. from the Crypt he was in. Yeah. But he, always, the same he always just looks like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Miller Time 86 says, uh, yes, UV, that's a character in yep. Disturbing Behavior, I thought looked like John 5, the Marilyn Manson guitarist from yes. back in the day. Mm-hmm. Yes. I should have specified. No, I think we all got to that point. We knew what you were talking about. But yeah. I had to like access my my memories of that. I'm just yeah. like, Didn't John oh, yeah, 5 like become like Rob Zombie's? He was a Rob Zombie guitarist. And yeah. I think he has his own stuff. He's got know. his own stuff. Yeah. That, that I've seen, yes. Uh, Neil Gum says, I was surprised the crew couldn't just go with this one and have fun because it's like it has a bad Halloween 3 level thing going on for it. Uh, it has memorable lines. It's well shot and a good musical score. What's not to like? Besides all the stuff he said. What, what, uh, what are we talking about again? Uh, disturbing disturbing me. Me. I mean, oh, it yeah. was a good time capsule. We did say that. Like, time it does. I just, what, what did we boil it down to? I didn't that like that. That movie got a major chop chop. Yeah, remember? We, it was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It we didn't like didn't Halloween like, 3. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I haven't watched it in many years. Which one? Disturbing Halloween, me. Yeah. Halloween 3. Well, we watched it on this show. We, we did. We did not like it. No, we I also agree. No, we like did not like Texas it. Chainsaw Massacre 2, which yes, is also a favorite. Like, no, yeah. it's a bad movie. movie. Fuck mm-hmm. that Those movie. are bad, bad mm-hmm. movies, and we Pitch do not scream of a movie. recommend mm-hmm. them. Now, we're going to go around. Well, thank you again, each of you, for writing in. We really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. We yeah. appreciate it, yes. Um, now we're going to go. What did you think about what did we watch? Demon, Demon, Demon War. War is your, your pick. movie that you chose. Ah! I was, sure. uh, I don't associate this with uh, I may have you brought it. His. I may have brought it, but I am I mean, like all of you. To be honest, and you probably could tell from uh, my comments and all the uh, uh, um, my deep dive Googling that I did during the movie, that the most interesting thing to me was uh, Michelle Bauer was in it because I'm like, Just here's a scream history. queen that I am not really familiar with her body of work. I guess, I, you know, they, her body, her body, but not body, but of not work. body of work. And uh, I've always heard that, you know, she's like, you know, and so I always kind of watch these scream queens. Going like, are you looking for what they're bringing to it? Yeah, and I'm like, she's actually pretty decent, right? You know, I mean, she has a few breakdown scenes. Yeah, I'm like, okay, she's trying. He couldn't get uh, bigger and better stuff, I guess, because she was typecast. I suppose once you're taking your top off in every movie that you're in, you're the take your top off girl, and so that's what she made her career out of. But it's like some of them, you know, you go like, well, you know, there's an alternate history here where, well, I don't know. Actually, she's probably bigger. As the topless girl in all these movies, right. and she would have been as like a bit player, there, right? Because there's like uh, I was going to say, voids need to be filled, but maybe I don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but there there's certain roles that need to be essayed, and yeah. she's like, I'll do this, yeah, and I'll do it proudly. I know because now she's one of the top three remembered. You know, there's a documentary about uh, about her, and I suppose you wouldn't have had that if you were just like character right. actor. In a bunch of uh, 80s horror movies. Um, 
George Kennedy is, uh, I always like him when I see him because he's always got kind of an upbeat personality, even when he's playing a bad guy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about this movie. I guess I sat there just bewildered, befuddled, constantly going like, what the fuck is going on to the screen? Um, In a good way? No. Uh, uh, yeah, because I think it went on too long. It just felt like they were padding. Um, like I said, points for trying to subvert my expectations. You did. I did not see that, you know, it was going to end up where it ended up. I mean, the satanic uh, spaceship um, monster thing. Uh, or Bigfoot, to be honest with you. I didn't think there was going <laughs> to yeah, be a Bigfoot yeah, in the movie. Yeah. You, uh, if you only know, all right, this movie's called Demon Warp, and you went in and yeah. you was like, It'll keep you going along just on that. Just be like, all right, right. where is yeah, where this? is it going? So and I mean, why is there a big? Fight? I think there's an audience out there that will get some enjoyment of it for that. Okay, but it's not a particularly well made movie, and I think it tries your patience, and it's bad. You know, so I've seen worse. But that doesn't Why make do I think good. of Blood Beat? Blood Beat like, was bad. That came like, to my mind, too. Yeah, it was like, very <laughs> because it also watch. takes place. And, all, yeah, and like that also just looked bad. Yeah, yeah. It, looked yeah. Bad. it was like winter in Wisconsin in that movie. Yeah. It was just, ew. This is better than Blood Beat, if yeah. you're following along. Yeah. But not enough to recommend yeah. it. Michaela, what'd you think? Yeah, I agree. I think it's like above Blood Beat, but I still didn't enjoy it. And it really tested my patience. Like it just, the scenes that would never end, but didn't have a point and didn't serve anything other than to pad the runtime. And I I appreciate the attempt at doing a Bigfoot movie, but maybe we just should stop because we <laughs> have yet to get it right. I was saying, we're not getting it right. Um, no, even as recent as like 2017 or whenever Willow Creek came out, we're still not getting it right. So just... Maybe it's not meant for us to make movies about, and that's okay, you know? Um, and bringing all the other things into it and not explaining it, and this is just... If this movie had just tried to be a slasher, but instead it's Bigfoot, instead of, like, a, a Michael Myers or a Jason, it maybe could have worked, you oh, know? That exists. Yeah? Oh. Oh, what's it called? It's just short. It's, like, 30 minutes long. That's not true. Oh, yeah. I can't remember yeah, the Yeah, but name just imagine it. if it's, like, a Friday the 13th it's movie, like even in the cabin. or something. It's oh. a yeah. fucking Friday the 13th movie yeah. with a Bigfoot. Yeah, that, uh. that would... I would be more on board with that than adding all this extraneous stuff to this that doesn't work and doesn't serve a purpose. So I got to pass on it. I did not enjoy it. And I don't think any of our listeners would either. I'll it have... felt long. So yeah. I'm going to pass. Uh, it, and it's not funny enough to be cult status. Yeah. No, it's not enjoyable. Got, enough no, there's that. nothing. There's not even a, uh, like a performance that you can no. latch on to be like, but they did really good. Yeah. There is no Raul Julia in this movie. No. Or even like the guy in Miami connection, given that passionate monologue, there's none yeah. of that, you know, and at least some of those characters also had their moments elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Nobody um, really has a good moment in this movie. I couldn't even tell you these people's names. Like, cause they never I, only, said them. Repetition I, is yeah. the only reason I know them yeah. now. Cause yeah. we had to, to yeah. in order to speak you English on this know show. Who they are. No, no. You won't. no. No, never. No, it's just gonna be a frustrating, confusing watch, and it doesn't have any good payoff. So pass, Sean. Yeah, it's too long, and it's just like this is. I'm good if this is like uh, an hour and seventeen minute movie. That is, if that was right. If it's like, like this type of, Game of movie Thrones, can yeah. be that long, and that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, um, it's not what the filmmakers thought. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's too long, um, too too much time of it's padding it out. I, I, you know, I was interested because it is called Demon Warp, and I'm I'm wondering where we're gonna when we're gonna get to that point, and how does that change from the movie we were watching for an hour and twenty minutes in the last ten minutes? How's that gonna change? It did, and it was confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like I mean I don't like your main character I don't like him I don't like Jack I don't like that actor I don't like what he's doing in this movie um yeah they just made him not good um I mean yeah decide what you're gonna do it does do things differently again it starts out with uh, Bigfoot attacks and then it keeps going with the Bigfoot attacks like okay usually they would like hide the monster in the woods for a little while and then a hand would come out and grab someone and kill them and we'd you know more of a slasher movie like we said yeah so it does do um, grizzly with a bigfoot. Sure, yes. uh, it does. It, it does kind of subvert that a little bit, but uh, not to an exciting end. Like like we said, there's no really great performance. No great, no good performances in this. Nothing that's going to stick with you. Um, even the, I mean, nudity is always great, but that's not going to get you a, a pass on this one uh, or a, a passing grade on this one. No, it's too long. It's too boring. Too <laughs> bewildering. 
too bewildering. Like we should like there should have been things that were happening in the last ten minutes should have been happening earlier if you were gonna like keep mm-hmm. kind of going down that thread. I don't know. This is I think the most discussion anybody's gonna get out of this movie. You'd be surprised. Uh, I mean, probably. Yeah. Who knows? I'm sure the people <laughs> maybe would go on for hours about this. Um, I'd rather not keep going on about this. So I'm going to say no. Mm-hmm. Not enough interesting stuff there to to keep you on board. It doesn't help that uh, this was on YouTube at the 360 yeah. um, right. um, resolution. We so had to work to watch it. We yeah. really did. And, I, you know, that may be unfair uh, to the movie. But you know what? The movie was unfair to us. So fuck this movie. Right. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to pass on Demon Warp. Well, that's uh, three. three Probably passes. would have passed as well. Yeah, yes, she would not have enjoyed this. So that means uh, you, you, we, we fell Nobody ever asked to watch it again. Nope. Nope. We took that bullet. We did. You don't. It'll be to. now taken off YouTube because we said, <laughs> right? So. But because someone's going to 4K restore it, Michaela, it, and it'll true. be out next year on Vinegar Syndrome. And yeah. the bloody disgusting. Like, why you should watch Demon War? Hidden Gem and- Demon War yeah. released. Yeah, exactly. On 8K. This <laughs> the first 8K. <laughs> it's gonna have three discs of bonus yeah. features and like right. a fold out. Yeah. Why right. The PG cut. Yeah. The yeah. cut. Yeah. The 13 yeah. cut. The R cut. Yeah. yeah. Here's John Carl B. Clear's yeah. original yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, Storyboard. You don't have. To watch it, uh, yeah. Michaela. Yes. The short is called Eagle Walk. Eagle oh, Walk. Okay, that? okay. I yes. know that's why I couldn't find it. And yes. It doesn't come up easy on a search, but that <laughs> is the Bigfoot Friday the Thirteenth. All right, I will look into it and there report back. Yes. Um. So next week we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. Holly, and uh, I have been elected her proxy for this vote. Indeed. So, so um, blame will shift yeah, you a, a little bit. Uh, here. Senator Fuca <laughs> has chosen um, <laughs> the Watcher from two thousand as our movie for next week. Is that the Keanu Reeves? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. this has got a good history. Yeah. There you go. All yes. right. The Watcher next week mm-hmm. on the Saturday Night Freak Show. How many Keanu Reeves movies have we done down here? Are we starting to, are we building the wall for Keanu? I mean, Devil's Advocate is still out there, isn't it? I mean, yes. We did two, one Bill and Ted? Probably one Bill and Ted, yeah. Just one All right, so Ted. I got to bring Devil's no, Advocate to get the hat trick, huh? He was in... <laughs> Okay. We'll find out next week. Yeah. Find out next yeah. Week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we hope you'll join us. And until then, boils and ghouls, the basement is going dark. <laughs>